Hello YouTubers. It's not raining so I'm ready to get out and gee, it's not blowing a tail so you better hear me voice this time. I know I've not got my dog with me, I'm going to the bank. Yep, I'm going to the bank. You can do um, when they put a law out that like you can't walk to your local bank to put money in or take money out. Fuck it, and even if there's a law, fuck it, I'll break the law. Got to get my money out. But anyway, it's not about that. It's not about that. As we already know, Boris Johnson is about to make his epic speech. Yep, he's about to make his epic speech today. Am I going to watch it? No, I'm not. I'll check it out probably later on the internet. Because, in all fairness, the last thing I want to do, the last thing I want to do is listen to Boris Johnson bumble the fuck on and bore a hole in my head. Because he never gets to the fucking point. You get him looking at the stands for half an hour, the fake ones, I should say. Yep, I'll say it. The fake stands. Because in all fairness, they are fake. I'm only saying what I'm thinking, you know, feed them speech and all that. But I have checked them out again, and we have gone up again in same side. This is a bit what confuses me. They must have heard me on YouTube, because they've now changed the stands a bit on the evening news. You've now got a box like that. The G ones going up. No, <laughs> fuck, I'll be worried if it's going up. I mean, the G ones going down, meaning people getting it, deaths, obstacles, new traces, all that. That means down, by the way. Up is not good. Up is what is a no-no. As the same favour on a mover, that's a no-no, right? So, same side's gone up, but I don't get this bit. They've got another arrow, right? They've got another arrow, and that arrow says down. So look at white arrow, but it says down. So I think the down at UCS2 said, oh no, no, we're not faking the stands, we're not, we're not. So they've got the arrow right, and it says down. So remember when I said on Saturday and I had a temper tantrum, and um, I actually said, um, what is it? I said actually, oh yeah, that we were 210. Guess what? Sunday, this is Sunday by the way, so if people look today and think, it's gone up to 200 and think it, Pete. I'm on about Sunday, that's this today. It's now gone to 207. 207, it's not to boast about, but 207, maybe a bit of luck. We might start going down, we might get a line. Before I get a fucking event soon, we probably go up again. Probably go up again. See, some people say, oh, BB, you've got to think positive. I've given up feeling positive. What's the fucking point? What is the point? Feel positive, you just get a kick in the nuts. It's like today, right? Now, I, I'm not sure whether Boris Johnson's going to do what Joni Bear wants or he's got his own little piece of paper, but should I really get me hopes up? Should I get me fucking hopes up? It's like if you take it out on the news and on the newspaper, good news, people, good news, you get your feet to me into a lie. But think, what? What I mean by that is, so it proves it's all panned out, people. But they don't let us know because we're the little people. Um, July, right, for people who don't know this, July, all of us, whether you're 30s, you're 10s, you're 40s and blah, 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 you get the fat seed. Jay, Jay. So when I get back in the shop, I've got things I need to do in July, but no doubt they'll suffer letter on me because they don't, you don't go by choice. So I don't book a day off it. Oh, I'm off this week. I'm not in, I'm not in work this week. Take stuff. I can phone them up and book that appointment and get my vaccination. Yay. No, 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 no. They said what they do is they send you a letter and they'll expect you to be there. Whether you've got a job, whether you're working, whether you're unemployed, whether you're going to be somewhere. No, no, no. It doesn't make no fucking odds. Get a letter, get your ass there, get a fat seed. Which is bollocks. By rights, I think you should have the choice of, right, I'm going to go and get vaccinated. Can I get my vaccination today, sir, miss, whatever sex you are? Can I get my needle in my arm? No, it doesn't work that way, people who have not been vaccinated there. What happens is, and you probably already know this anyway, so I don't know why I'm saying it, but you get a letter, and that letter will tell you get your ass into the wherever to do the vaccination and that's when you get your pitting eagle slammed in your arm 
Granted, I'm making it. I'm only fighting people. It's not that painful. I've been I had eagles in my arm before. Believe me, I'm a brave boy. And don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I want to get vaccinated. I I want to get back to normal. It doesn't help when Boris Johnson, which I checked out the day on the net, says we're never going to get back to proper normal. Oh, Boris Johnson, that really helps. That really gets the trust in you, that Boris. That really gets people to believe in the system. You know what? Fuck it. I should have got an eagle in my arm then. We're not going to get to proper normal. We're going to have needles on for the rest of our fucking lives. And we're going to have to wear a mask for the rest of our lives. I mean, what's our life? You'll go up in smoke. Just as you blumble on. And you wonder why I don't want to listen to him today. You wonder why I don't want to listen to this blumbering fucking moron. Because he's a blumbering fucking moron. <laughs> he's a blumbering moron. I don't want to listen to the fucking Boris Blumbering Donson bumble on and bore all in my fucking head. I'm just getting to the point and telling me and everybody else who's got a sop and anyone else who's got a business or a livelihood and all that. Fucking going to smoke and just doing bumble the fuck on about saving lives and protecting the fucking wonderful NHS, even though they fucking did cut backs. He seems to forget that one, people. So, no, I don't want to really listen to him bumble on. All I want to do is listen to what's going to happen. Are we going to open in April? I hope April. Or are we going to go through all this fucking shit what Tony Bear's come up with? See, I don't know whether Boris is going to do what Tony Bear wants, so that's something I'm not looking forward to. Speaking of that, you know what pisses me off? You know what fucking pisses me the fuck off? Mike Snotty Hancock could be getting away with murder. Now, if people want to know what I was on about Saturday when we had that little rant, well, the do what it was, was he's been faking stuff for all of his mates, people in the pub, some of his family member, some of his friends, and he's been forging that stuff, which is forged, by the way, that's a taste of law. Now, if I forge a £10 note, now, it's not a real £10 note, or I have a forged check it card, you know, all that stuff. It's a taste of law, isn't it? People type me up now and today me if I'm right and wrong. If I forged a £10 note, I mean it's not a real £10 note, it's a fake or a 20 or a 50. And I have a forged passport or a forged whatever or a forged thing for my mate so he can get a fee beyond a few items. To let me if I'm right and wrong, is, is that a taste of law? A taste of law, isn't it? So that's what Mike Snotty Hancock's been doing for his mates and his fam there. He's been forging with the fucking fat scene and all the other stuff and with PPRs and so by rights he should either get the sack or get dismissed or do the right thing and fucking resign. That if we did that we'd probably get fined a lot of money for Fords. It's like me writing my name and calling myself Bob the Builder. My name's not Bob the Builder people, my name's Peter. But you see what I'm getting at? You see what I'm getting at? And if I remember his name, Jack Starling, there's Nick, Nicky Starling, you know, the fucking arsehole in Labour. He dilutes that. He thinks that's all okay to break the law and Fords, you know, the shit what Mike Snotty Hancock did some shit for. He thinks that's A OK. -okay. And this bit's laughable, I saw this. He says, yeah, but the public wants us all to get to Jeffrey and the public might want him to stay. No, 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 no. Whoa, start, no, look at Starling. You wonder why I ain't gonna fault you with an attitude like that. You definitely don't know what the people want, because I don't want Mike Snotty Hancock. I want him to fuck off. I want him to be made an example that, yeah, I'm, I work and I am a part of the Prime Ministers, but at the end of the day, that doesn't mean dickity D. I shouldn't get away with it same as anyone else, so I should be dismissed like anyone else. That is what I want, and I'm sure a lot of other people want that. I hope you get fucked off, sort of starting. I really do hope you get Nickel Starling, I remember his fucking name right. I really do hope you get the boot. I hope you get the boot, because I think you're a prick. I think a lot of other people think you're a prick because you're going down in your fucking politicians of labour. But that's enough of that moron. But yeah, Nickel Starling, that fucking knobhead. I'm going to fuck up his name, that moron, that muppet. He's fucking, you could, when he was trying to make his speech, you could see it was fuck, you could see the shit coming out of his mouth, couldn't you? You could see the poo coming out. But yeah, today's the day. I'm going to the bank. I'm going to put money in the bank. And I'm just going to get on with it. Get on with it. I'm just going to get on with it. 
If it's shit, it's shit. If it's good news, it's good news. I'm just going to do some reviews still and just take day by day, as John Rambo said in First Blood Part 2. Until then, I'll see you soon.